Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to look at workflow in R Studio. Uh, now, because when you work in R uh, and you're not using a kind of point and click interface, when you want to select a file like a data file, for example, uh, the way that you would access that file is to type in the full path of that file on your hard drive. So some of the things on the uh, screen behind me are examples of these kind of really long addresses of files. Um, so for example, to, to find this CSV file called edify, I would have to type in without any typos, this big long string of text. It, it's on an external drive, the name of the drive in the documents folder and the academic folder and the teaching folder and the statistics lectures folder. It's, you know, it's hideous. Um, and this can be a real barrier. It's, it's very easy to make mistakes and it also means that your code is not portable because unless um, you send this uh, this bit of code to, to someone who has exactly the same file system on their computer, uh, when they try to run it, it will throw an error message. It won't be able to find the file because the file is located somewhere different on their machine. Now, the solution to this is always to work with R Studio projects. An R Studio project is a it's a directory or a folder on your machine that is kind of special. It has a little file that sits within it, and that file tells um, R Studio kind of kind of where it is, I guess. So it's kind of a base. You're always sort of starting from that project folder. So as long as all the work relating to the project is within that folder, you can access it quite easily. In particular, you can use a uh, an R package called here, which always returns the, the the current address of the project folder. So by using this, uh, you can, uh, you know, it will, it will basically re return the address of the project folder, no matter what machine it's on. So every time you execute the here function, it, it kind of tells you where your project is. Uh, and what this means is that your project is portable. You could send your project or the folder containing your project to a colleague or you could host it on a shared drive and it will just work on their machine. So the long, you know, whether that made any sense or not, the long and short of it is always use an RStudio project. So within RStudio, if you uh, kind of just boot it up, um, you'll, uh, you might not see exactly this, you might have it configured slightly differently, but essentially there's nothing there. To set up a project folder, you go to the file menu, new project. And after a bit of thinking about it, you will get the new project wizard appear on the screen. You have a choice. If you already have your project in a directory somewhere, you can convert that directory to an RStudio project. If not, you can create a new directory. So that's what we're going to do. And when you select on this, you get various options. Just click on the top one, which is to create a new R Studio project. And you want to name the directory that your project's going to sit in. Um, so we'll call it uh, imaginatively my new project. And you want to select where that directory is going to be created. So for example, um, I'm actually sticking it in my in my University OneDrive in my documents folder. So I select that folder and then click open. So what's going to happen in my documents folder on my OneDrive, it's RStudio is going to create a directory called my new project. Uh, don't need to worry about any other options on here. Just click on create project. And nothing much seems to happen except this window uh, down here, the files window, uh, files tab has changed. Uh, it has now created the folder that we, or the doc directory that we asked it to create, and it has put us in it. The project is now sitting within it. So you can see here we're on my, in my OneDrive, in my Documents folder, in my new project folder. And within that folder, it has created the R Studio project file, called also called my new project. Uh, you don't need to worry about the file or do anything with that file, but that file kind of contains information about the state of the project. So when you um, open that file, um, it sort of remembers what you were doing. It remembers what documents you had open and that sort of thing. Um, if you look at my finder window, so we're, we're in my OneDrive here in my documents folder. 
my documents folder now has a directory called my new project. RStudio created that for me. And within that, we can also see this RStudio project file. So it's uh, it's kind of good project hygiene, I think, to, to sort of uh, have a, a well-structured project. And people do things in slightly different ways. Uh, I think what I do is not uncommon. So generally, we're analyzing data when uh, we're creating an RStudio project. So I almost always have a folder called data where I store my data files. So I would click on new folder, type data. Uh, I mean, I do everything lowercase all the time. And that has created a folder called data. And again, if we look through the finder window, we can see that folder has been created. I also always have a folder that I call r underscore docs, which is where I put all my uh, quarto or markdown documents. However, you know, whatever, whatever R stuff I'm doing sits in there. I will quite often have a folder called images or sometimes media. Uh, if I'm going to put some images in any of my documents, I will put them in a separate folder. So I'd say this is kind of like my basic setup for most projects that I have. And then on top of that, if I'm working on an academic manuscript, I might have a folder called manuscript or, you know, so on and so forth. But as a bare minimum, I would say you want a data folder and you want an rdocs folder. Again, if we look through the uh, the operating systems file uh, file system, we can see these folders have all been created. They're they're there as well. So uh, this this files pane in our studio is kind of just a it's a window into it's another way of looking at uh, the files on my machine. So that is basically how to set up an R Studio project. Having done that, if we were to close R Studio. When we next want to open that project, what we do is we find that .rproj file on, uh, you know, through our operating system um, and double click on it. And double clicking on it opens up that project file. And um, yeah, I mean, basically over subsequent tutorials, we'll have a look at, you know, how to create Quarto documents and uh, you know other aspects of working within R, but this is just your your kind of basic setup for any new project.